हेलो अरुण नमस्कार सो हेयर वी आर रेडी टू लर्न सम न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दिस टाइम इट से इज द डेसिमल नंबर व्हेन कन्वर्टेड टू बाइनरी नंबर टेक्स द फॉर्म सो वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस डेसिमल नंबर इनटू अ बाइनरी इक्विवेलेंट सो लेट्स प्रोसीड द स्टेप्स आर क्वाइट इजी ओके यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट द स्टेप्स so the step is uh, we convert whatever is to the left of the point into a binary and whatever is to the right of the point to a binary and then we club them together so to the left i have 1 to 7 so you all know i think how to convert 1 to 7 to binary if not do visit my playlist where i have discussed such problems so it is very very easy you can learn here also just keep on dividing by 2 so it goes in uh, 63 into 2 is 126 and a remainder is 1 then again if i divide by 2 31 into 2 is 62 and there you get 1 as a remainder Then again, fifteen into two is thirty. There again, you get one. There you go again, seven times. Again a one. Again every time it's an odd number, you are going to get a remainder. One. Again, two, one time remainder is one, and you will stop once you get one. and we write this from bottom to top so 127 which was a decimal we regarded this uh, as a separate number 127 a decimal number and this can be written as how many times one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times one so 1 1 1 1 1 Five times, six times, and a seven times. I will uh, give you a trick also in time apart from this question. So stay tuned for that. How to convert numbers having only one uh, binary numbers having only one directly into decimal without doing any multiplication. So stay tuned for that also. Now uh, we have easily calculated this coming to point two five. So what to do with that? simple uh, just keep on multiplying by 2 until and unless you get a number whose fractional part is zero only integer part is there okay so if i multiply this by 2 i will get 0.50 because i have zero here as an integral part i will write this zero that will be the part of my number and i will take this 0.50 to the next step because 0.50 is there not 0 0 is there If zero zero would have been there, no problem. So again, multiply by two. So you are going to get one point zero zero five. Now we will stop because we have got zero in the right. So if you want to retain the zero to the next steps, zero multiply by two again, it is going to give you zero also. So we will stop here. We'll retain this one here, and we write zero point two five, whatever you say, point two five or zero point two five as we write here from top to bottom. Here we write from bottom to top. Here top to bottom. So we can write this as zero uh, one or point zero one, whichever you prefer. Uh, finally, we have to write a point in the middle. So one twenty seven is this. 0.25 is this. Just club them together. Point I have already written, so no need to write it again. So 127, 127.25, which is a decimal number, can be written as seven times one. And a point with zero. This is the binary. Fine. Now let me give you another trick. 
question is over we wanted bind to convert it in binary we have done now i was telling you for a trick that in case you have a binary number containing all if it is all zero then it is no problem it is going to be equal to zero only because zero into two power zero zero it is going to give you zero but in case you have got all one so count the number of one instead of uh, doing this stuff that we are multiplying by two uh, one two four eight and so on which we uh, do by traditionally we i have a trick also count the number of ones so one two you know it is seven so the the decimal equivalent of this will be nothing but 2 power 7 minus 1 that easy 2 power 7 you all know is 128 minus 1 so this is equal to 127 so we don't only have to worry about the right portion and how to find right portion uh, right of the decimal multiply by 2 power minus 1 and 2 power minus 2 0 multiplied by 2 power minus 1 is 0 1 multiplied by 2 power minus 2 now 2 power minus 2 is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 is 1 by 4 only and 1 by 4 is nothing but uh, 0.25 so I have got 127 from here 0.25 from there club them together you are going to get 127.25 so this we have verified that uh, yes, we were correct because if I take this as a binary number and try to convert a decimal equivalent, I am getting what was it. So, you know both ways uh, because I have taught, uh, I think, uh, most of the easy portions uh, how to convert a decimal to binary, simple decimal numbers, simple integers, binary to decimal how to add, subtract, divide, multiply and with points also I have covered. So let's uh, see you there in my playlist where I have covered all this. Do share this problem or challenge uh, this problem to your friend. Let's check whether he knows or not. If you don't know, teach him this concept as to how we can convert this type of uh, decimal number into binary. That's it from my side. See you with another video. Thanks everyone. Nice